Hey guys, it's John the Wrestling Talk in the Shop, and welcome back to the channel. We're going to hop on here today and do the February 3rd, today in pro wrestling history. On this day in 1973, All Japan Pro Wrestling joined the NWA. Uh, joined the NWA, and this led to uh, them gaining uh, alliances with like wrestlers such as Ric Flair, Harley Race, Dory Funk Jr., would appear on all Japan wrestling shows. I know Dory DeFunk Jr. was a uh, he was a booker there for a long a lot of years. I'd like to see more all Japan pro wrestling. I've only seen clips and stuff of it, but I'm not sure exactly where you access all that footage at. But anyway, today on 1989, WWF uh, main event is uh, live from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and on the show, the Mega Powers Hulk Hogan and Macho Man defeated the Twin Towers Akeem and the Big Boss Man during the match. Akeem threw Savage out of the ring, which he landed on Miss Elizabeth, knocking her unconscious. And this led to where uh, Hogan carried her to the back, and then he eventually come in and uh, come back, and the Macho Man tagged uh, Hogan out, and then uh, it, it ultimately led to, in the backstage after the match, uh, Hogan uh, was trying to tell, uh, and like, I see lust in your eyes, and, you know, and he ended up hitting Hogan with the... Uh, Championship belt, and it led to the main eventing uh, WrestleMania 4. The Mega Powers exploded. <laughs> and let's see here, we'll get them. On this day in 1996, ECW Big Apple Blizzard was held in New York. Bam Bam Bigelow made his ECW debut on the show in less than a year after headlining WrestleMania. Also on the card, uh, John Cronus and Perry Saturn, the Eliminators, become the new ECW Tag Team Champions after uh, defeating Cactus Jack and Mikey Whipwreck. On this day in 2000, the ill-fated XFL Football League was announced. A joint venture between WWF and NBC. The first match was played exactly one year later in 2001, but the XFL lasted just one season with each company losing an estimated $70 million. And then it did come back, and now The Rock is some sort of owner in it, and it's merged, and they've emerged with the other football league and it's like the united football league it's like spring football essentially but uh i don't know if it'll do much you know but you know a lot come out of that xfl i mean the nfl copied a lot and you know that we see today in today's football but anyway on this day in 2001 let's see uh, wwf live was held in greensboro north carolina i'm fixing to be headed that way pretty soon myself the hardcore title went back went uh from raven to k quick to crash crop holly and back to Raven, who finished the night as he started as the hardcore champion. And the main event saw The Rock and Kane and The Undertaker beat the team of Triple H, Rakishi, and Haku. On this day in 2004, a SmackDown taping in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Scotty Tuhati and Rakishi defeated the Basham Brothers to win the WWE Tag Team Championships. On this day in 2019, for the first time in 20 years, the WWE presented Halftime Heat. In the mid-game break of the Super Bowl, the singles match show was taped at the Performance Center in Orlando, Florida. Saw Aleister Black, Ricochet, and Velveteen Dream defeat Adam Cole, Johnny Gargano, and Tommaso Ciampa. On this day in 2021, Edge made a surprise appearance in the NXT, confronting both Finn Balor and Pete Dunne ahead of their championship match at Vengeance Day, making it clear that they were on the Royal Rumble winner's radar in the main event. Timothy Thatcher and Tommaso Ciampa defeated the Undisputed Era and Dust in, in the Dusty Rose uh, Classic quarterfinal match. And on this day in 2021, on, an, on AEW Dynamite Beach Break, Chris Jericho and MJF won a tag team battle royal for a chance to face the Young Bucks for the AEW tag titles at Revolution. It was also on this show where Kip Saban and Penelope Ford got married with Orange Cassidy appearing. From the cake at the end of the uh, main event, uh, Kenta shockingly debuted in his GTS and did his GTS on John Moxley. The notable birthdays for this month is El, El Patron, Marty Jannetty, uh, and Dory Funk Jr. I also seen where Marty Jannetty claimed he's going to have to have his legs amputated. He's just had a bad go at it. And his sister just passed away, so keep Marty Jannetty in your prayers, <laughs> you know. And, uh, uh, we wish Marty Janetti all the best. But anyway, that's going to wrap up uh, today in wrestling history. Thanks for watching, guys.